Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, and thank you for stopping by. All right, guys, today the content is a little more hopeful. I like the hope things because I really feel like we're in a better place than a lot of people say we are. The content today, quite frankly, how do you know when you're winning the culture fight, when you're winning the right, the support of our rights for the Second Amendment? There's a real simple way to know. I'm going to dive into it in one second. Before we do, guys, I just want to say thank you. You guys, I really feel a partnership with you on the subscriber growth on this channel. We are coming on 190,000 subscribers right now. On January 1st of 2021, we had just passed 100,000. The, the growth is insane. Really shows you guys are kind of giving the old thumbs up if you like what's coming out. Subscribing to the channel is a great way to show support. It's free and it helps grow the Second Amendment world and the revolution that's coming in the gun world is amazing and you're helping me build it and I thank you from the bottom of my heart. The next thing, the newsletter, some updates on this. I'm sending out ammo links that I can find ammo for on Fridays for pistols and Tuesdays for rifles to you guys for free. It's in the description box below. I'm gonna be honest, I, I need your opinion on this. I'm being told that I need to send more out because there's too many people on the mailing list. It's like 30,000 right now or like 26,000. And you guys aren't, you're like, you're like buying everything out. So if you want, in the comments below, if you want additional newsletters per week, let me know because the number one thing I don't want to do is I don't want to inundate your mailbox with all these different things and offers and all that. That's not my purpose. Purpose is to get you the ammo you need. So if you want more newsletters, like maybe ammo for pistols twice and rifles twice a week, comments feel below. All right. So guys, this is how we know that we are winning the fight for the Second Amendment, or at least winning battles, okay? So one of the things that the chief way to move forward on change is through legislative action. You know it, I know it, we all know it. Let's just get past it, okay? Have you noticed that on state levels across the United States, legislation is actually across the board, for the most part, going in the right direction? Have you noticed that? So on the state levels, there are still off crazy bills that are coming forward in left-leaning states like Washington, California, New York. There's like one or two crazy ones in the middle ground like Florida. But on the right, it is going far right towards the Second Amendment um, and the uh, individual right to bear arms, which is amazing. But how do you know if you're winning or losing? Well, here's how. Executive action. Now, I touched on this earlier when I, like this week when I did a video about are they showing weakness by tempting and threatening executive action? And then another video that backed up with that, which was Biden losing support with his West Virginian senator. Um, watch his face, Joe Manchin. So here's where we go with this, guys. This is how you know if you're winning and we're winning as a collective movement. If you start seeing executive orders come out from the government level, of, excuse me, the gubernatorial level, the governor of each state, and also the White House. Now, what do I mean by that? Of course, there's different actions and they won't be great for us immediately because let's say, for example, Biden comes out and says, I'm gonna ban imports of all foreign production of firearms, okay? Um, no production of ammo allowed in, no surplus purchases, um, interstate, whatever. All these different things that he can do, yes, he can impact the gun world temporarily. And that's the point that I want to really hit on. Everything that can be done with an executive action can be undone with a counter executive action. It can be rescinded the second the next person goes into office. Whether that's a Democrat or Republican, doesn't matter. Executive orders are temporary and should they be basically overwritten and canceled, they can be. A perfect example would be Biden came in and his 52 executive orders, <laughs> Trump's a tyrant, uh, with his 52 executive orders, it basically undid a lot of the things that Trump did and did a lot of things that were, you know, whatever. I'm going to leave that over there. But the point is they can be undone and written at ad hoc, at will. That's a really great thing for us. If you see this going into the realm of, I'm doing an executive order, that means they can't legislatively do what they want. They have to throw some red meat to their left supporters of get the guns, get the guns, get the guns. But if they can't legislatively do it, because, you know, the Second Amendment is amazing, um, they're going to do it through executive action, which can then simply be undone with a secondary stroke of a pen. I've got a phone and a pen. <laughs> Me too, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm just saying. Guys, there's reasons to be hopeful. I know the fight is coming. We are going to buckle down and we're going to do it together. This channel, other channels, we are making an impact. Keep going. Keep keeping the faith. And until tomorrow, I'm Braden. I'll see you later.